Hi, um, we're here in London at the Sega HQ from Europe and we've got a special guest and we're talking about a special game. Um, I think enough talking from me, let's uh, go over. Please, can you introduce yourself, okay. just your name, your title and what game we are talking about? Uh, I'm Takashi Izuka, uh, I'm a producer of the All Sonic series. Uh, we are talking about Sonic Forces. So, um, I played a little bit Sonic Forces on your demo. Mm -hmm. um, it's a brand new 3D Sonic adventure. And um, there, I think uh, there are three pieces on the opinion menu. It's a new, it's a, a classic, and it's Avatar. Can you talk a little bit about the three different game modes you can play? So there are like three elements, uh, three modes like uh, he prepared. And the first one is Modern Sonic, that's uh, focused on 3D, high-speed action, and the player can, uh, you know, play the game with like a forward view. And so that's like, you know, really, you know, fun, like, you know, more. And the another one is a classic mode that's kind of like a traditional, um, you know, um, horizontal, you know, view and uh, action, action mode. And uh, another one is the last one is a hero mode that's uh, players can customize their own characters and uh, he can play the character with Sonic in the game. Why do you include these different weapons for the avatar mode and how many weapons will there be? So uh, at this moment, we can't tell uh, how many uh, weapons are going to be in the game. Uh, but as we did in the Sonic Colors, uh, you know, Sonic Colors also had like a wisp, uh, wisp weapons, and there is going to be a lot of like a variety of weapons going to be available in the game. And for um, there are like two kinds of. Uh, um, uh, basically weapons available in the game and one is a character action for character actions and another one is for uh, um, like a weapon action and for weapons uh, just like in a burst weapon um, you can use like unlimited uh, such as like in a burst you know uh, weapons uh, the player can use uh, while the characters up in the air so that kind of stuff like you know he, uh, uh, can be available in you know in the in the, in the all um, type of uh, um, a, uh, all types of weapons can you tell us a bit about the story of your Sonic game uh, so before uh, Eggman's role was uh, basically Sonic beats him, and you know, in the, in, at the end of the game, that was kind of his role. But for, for in the forces, um, it, it's a little bit different because uh, Eggman's now acquire like you know, really powerful, um, you know, great power. So he uh, controlled the 99% of the world, and that's the beginning of uh, the. Uh, this title is story, story wise um, so Sonic and his uh, you know friends are uh, play as a resistance and um, try to take over the world from the Eggman so that's the kind of like core of the story and in, in this title so why choosing now a real deep story for it so in the previous title, there's like a, um, like you said, like a really like in you know, the lighthearted stories. And because uh, his intention was uh, he wanted to make sure that the you know, fans are, just, you know, feel happy, you know, feel good while they're playing. And that was the kind of like a core of the, you know, previous titles. But for this time in the forces, um, his intention was to uh, make sure that like, his fans are, uh, uh, enjoying the gameplay that's um, basically Sonic and his friends are in a really like a serious situation, you know, um, uh, kind of like a, n different from like a previous uh, previous titles. Uh, he is not in a good position when the game you know begins because Eggman's already you know control the world. So he wanted to make sure fans enjoying that, you know having like a sonic and at uh, not in a good position and uh, you know but kind of like a fight against power you know fight against like eggman in his power um he wanted to have fans to enjoy the process while playing the game is there new elements like like the swinging of the points is it new and when uh, why do you implement this um, for uh, the modern and the classic uh, gameplay, 
that's uh, kind of the targeted for uh, fans who like the traditional um, past titles and the, um, his intention was to have them to play you know something familiar and you know they play in the past but for the third elements which is the uh, hero characters uh, is designed for the fans to um, basically enjoy the actions um, like has speed actions um, so Basically, he, hero characters are kind of like in the ordinary characters. It's not nothing, you know, special. But um, he he wanted to have the fans to um, enjoy those characters by implementing the like, wire actions, which is a uh, you know different action styles from like a Sonic or you know modern or you know, classic Sonic. So uh, producing the game is there a big difference if you uh, do it for a Switch or for PS4, maybe PC, whatever. Or um, his intention is uh, basically whatever the platform is, uh, he wants to make sure uh, as platform agnostic as possible. So um, he wants to make sure, like you know, um, whatever the platform you're playing, um, he wants to make sure you have the same experience. Um, the, um, however, there's like a characteristic in each platform. For example, like PS4 and Xbox, um, that is more you know good for playing the game with the large screen at home. And for Switch, it's more like a portable. Um, so, so there's like a different kind of like characteristic in the in the platform. And he has those like you know differences in mind. But uh, in the end, he wants to make sure uh, the experience of the game is the same regardless of the platform. Most enjoy working on a new high action 3D uh, Sonic or an a pixelated old school one. <laughs> Which one do you enjoy more? Creating like a both like a different like a 2D and 3D titles, it's uh, it's both a, actually for him as a fan experience. Um, you know, for example, like in the three when creating like a 3D high end contents, that's also fun to create. But also something like you know pixelated 2D uh, titles like Mania, uh, that's something he he actually when he started working at the Sega, that's the kind of like title he worked on. So it's kind of like a nostalgic element into it when he's creating like, you know, 2D, you know, pixelated titles. And also there's like, you know, 2D uh, titles are kind of like a really simple, uh, uh, you know, gameplay. So it's really fun to play as well. But so he wants to, you know, not limiting to 3D or 2D, but he wants to keep creating like, you know, both, you know, 2D and 3D titles. Right? Yes. Right. Um, guys, try it. It's very, very good. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Perfect. Thank Done. you very much. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Perfect.